Hello and welcome to another video here from SDF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wild. And today we have episode number 333 of the Middle Earth Gun campaign. And we've come to from the Quest of the Ring Bear book. It is Shelob's Lair. So last week we played the fantastic little scenario with the deck of cards where uh, Smeagol successfully lured um, Sam away, made him cry big tears and run away with crumbs on his in his west vest. Um, and um, yes, Smeagol lured um, Frodo into Shelob's lair. So now she hunts him in the center of the board. It's a big board with not much terrain, and Sheila will stalk and try to kill both hobbits. Yes. Um, and they're separated by like 24 inches. Uh, when I read this scenario the first time, I, I thought that that Frodo was paralyzed. Mm. <laughs> and it's, well, this is an impossible scenario for, for you to win because you have to first spend six turns moving to Frodo yeah. and then pick up uh, Sting and then try to win the combat against Shiro but um, both are live at the start of the scenario so you have, they can move towards each other yeah. uh, at least um, but yeah it's an interesting scenario it's four models because for some odd reason Smeagol is lurking um, lurking in the background and if you can get the opportunity to Get to Frodo and get away with the ring. Yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to play him. I'm not yeah. going to like immediately toss him into combats and stuff. He's going to be lurking, waiting for an opportunity. Yeah. I think is uh, is the the thing I'm going to do because I, thematically I don't want him to be a big part of this one. I just want to stab Shiloh up with this thing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the plan. I think that's the way you'll win. Um, yeah, probably <laughs> if you do that. Um, so yeah, cool little scenario, a bunch of special rules, and we'll reveal all of those when we show you the board and the armies. to remove Sam from Frodo's side has succeeded. Frodo has believed Gollum's whispers in his ears that Sam wants the ring for himself and has sent his friend home. With Sam gone, Frodo continues to climb the winding stairs above Minas Morgul towards the path of Kirith Ungul and the unknown danger that lies within its dark and cobweb tunnels. As Frodo climbs upwards, Sam begins the long descent down the stairs filled with the regret that he's failed his master and the promise he made to Gandalf to not leave him. However, as Sam descends he finds the remains of Lembus bread he was accused of stealing scattered down the mountain and quickly realises the deception of Gollum and the ulterior motives the creature has for his friend. With anger bubbling up inside him, and the fear that Frodo might be in great danger, Sam climbs back up the stairs and into the pass of Kirith Ungul. Yet Frodo is in more peril than either the hobbits realise, for Kirith Ungul is home to Shelob, the spawn of Unguliant. The huge and spider-like creature stalks the tunnels ever in search of a tasty morsel that are crept into her lair, and few that ever enter her domain ever leave. And so begins the battle. Welcome to Shelob's lair. As Frodo and Sam have argued over the particular of breadcrumbs and uh, Smeagol having a small victory, uh, luring Frodo into the lair of the giant spider Shelob. Um, Smeagol runs away um, and uh, leaves Frodo to his um, so as you can see we have um, Frodo in the middle of the board, we have uh, Smeagol 12 inches away from him, 
we are counting these large terrain pieces as impassable terrain for the purposes of this scenario because it's <coughs> it suits the board better or if not it would have been a very very um, non cramped space and I want this scenario to be a bit claustrophobic um, <coughs> so objectives um, so while will win if Shiloh is slain or flees um, and the evil player wins if both hobbits are slain so Sam is um, on the board edge in the middle over there um, Sam will automatically pass all cover chests in the scenario and he also ca carries the pile of ladrill so he causes terror um, Frodo may not put on the ring and Shiloh may not spend will points to pass curse chests. Um, if uh, the good side wins a combat against Shilob um, and carries Sting, uh, they will automatically wound Shilob. And if Frodo is slain, we will exchange him for the fantastic um, Frodo in Spiderweb um, marker I painted 20 years ago. Um, and um, and we will uh, um, and if Sam moves into base contact with this marker, he can pick up Sting and gain plus one strength um, to go from sixes by fours to straight sixes to wind Shilob, or he automatically wins. But you know, uh, he might do better against Smeagol. No, it's the same. Um, so yeah, four models. Big board, good luck. Good luck. And um, good start off with priority as per usual. Frodo only moves four inches. Oh, is it four? Yeah, five for, the it, for uh, Smingle. Back then. So, yeah. So, Shelob moves full, full speed ahead. the way to, to do it. Alright, um, then we can so do... That, that means you won't be able to pass through here because your business is too big. I have um, pass, swift movement so I can, although I can't pass the big big block, I can oh, but move this, on the this side. This is not impossible. You no, can move the, on the, the big, big stuff is. Okay. Um, so yeah, we can do curse. Uh, no, not curse. Yes, we can do uh, priority. priority for turn two. So you roll the six. I also roll the six, so Just I get priority. Did you move in? No, you just didn't. Uh, Good thing I only had four inches movement. Around right behind you. Sorry for people being afraid of spiders for this scenario. Um, Although I think the thumbnail will uh, will make you not um, watch the scenario. If you can do me the favor to continue moving, Mr. Smeagol. All right. Perfect. Indeed. Or do you have any spit? No, no, no. Goes to me. Goes to you again. You have no whites. I don't. Well, Smeagol has, but. Oh. <sighs> okay. Smeagol so, want to move up? Yeah, he wants to see uh, what's about to happen. This could be over very quickly. Uh, she has to pass a courage test to charge. If she wants to charge... Um, Both. Did she have to do that against Frodo? No, only against uh, Sam. Yeah. But I want to charge both. Okay. Yeah. She fails. Yep. Um, yeah. 
she fails. So she stands there. Priority. Yes. Goes to you again. Honestly, I won't be able to charge you. No. You can stand still throwing rocks, and if... Uh, yeah, I'll pick up rocks. Oh, well, how, what's the range on rocks? Uh, it's eight inches. Yeah, they're both... I think... Where does Mr... I... <sighs> Call him. Let's go. I, he... No, make him move, like, over there. I don't want to... I really don't want him to take part, because I feel that's... Him revealing himself. <laughs> nice. All right. So let's see. I want to charge. Both. Both. Come on, Shilob. You can do it. Yes. So gets in. So, Shilob has only two attacks. Heroic Strike from Samwise. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so, your fight value is normally three. Three, all right. Let's see what you end on. Ah, four. Okay, so I do five. have... Five. <laughs> so, you still have the hard fight. I still have the hard fight on seven. So, do you want to set the bar? Yeah. Uh, Baggins uh, in gold. So I set the bar at the four. Four. All right. It's a five. So I might to lose. Yeah, you would do, wouldn't or, you? Yeah. Yeah. Because Frodo. You win. Yeah. Frodo as well. Yeah. Mm. So I win. Um, she gets double strikes. I have mithril coats. Yeah. So I'll do since Sam spent a might point, I will do first on Frodo. Needing force. No. And then again. That's two wounds on Frodo. No, sorry. Um, that's the re-roll, because she re-rolls, uh, she has Venom, so she re-rolls all fail to wounds. So that's the first double strike. All three fates and a one gone. Mm -hmm. And then I'll do my second double strike on the Frodo. Might have one of those. That's two fails. That's two fails. So Frodo is alive uh, on one wound remaining. And they're both prone. Yeah, she has monstrous charge. Priority. Yes, sir. Get a four. Or it can move from Samwise. Mm -hmm. And they both charge. Two costs. Sure, you don't want to spend a point with Frodo to be able to heroic, oh, yeah, um, yeah. heroic strike again. Heroic might, yeah. Well, heroic move with Frodo. Yeah. Um, you cost her. I do. Frodo, you're calling with me before you uh, e before you roll. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. In. And someone goes in. Yes. All right, I think Smeagol will scuttle over to there. Very sneaky like. I could actually want to go. I want to go this direction. Try to trap you against some terrain or something. Mm -hmm. For elbow. Able. Uh, Heroic strike with the Samwise. Yeah. Let's see. I get a one, oh. so I've fight 
four. White four. So it's a. Yeah. Let's see what I roll. Oh, you want to see what I roll? Oh, you rolled a four. I rolled a four, so I beat you. Yes, you do. So that means from um, she automatically takes a wound from uh, Frodo. Oh, she does. Does Sam wound as well? On a six. He does. <laughs> he wounds. does. So I have to take two courage tests, unmodified, no will points allowed to be spent, and I have to t pass them both. First one from Frodo. <laughs> and she runs off. Thanks for the game. Thanks for the game. <laughs> oh, that's a double-ended scenario. <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. talk more about this one in the <laughs> post-battle batter breakdown. Welcome back to the post-battle batter breakdown, and it's a victory four. Good. Yes. Yes. So did mm. you did what you wanted to do? Yep. You stabbed Shilob in the belly with uh, with Sting. Yep. Um, that works. And that works. Um, you only have to fail one courage test in this entire game yep. for it to be over, and uh, it it was. She has courage four. Yeah. Or six. Four. Four. She does have six will points, but she yeah. isn't allowed to use them for modifying her courage in the scenario. So And you, you did score two wounds on her. Like because yeah. you rolled you did I an did. automatic wound with Frodo and then you rolled a six to yeah. to wound um to wound as well. Um Maybe instead of automatic wounds, maybe it should be re roll fail wound wounds with the sting. I mean, it's sixes. Oh yeah, that's true. And they only have one attack each. And I, I think for them winning the combat in the first place, because that's true. Sam needs need four, four plus to, to tie. Yeah. Um, or four to tie, yeah. four plus to win. Mm. In the heroic strike, and he, he he's the only one who has access to heroic strike. Yeah, that's true. Um, and it didn't go too well. <clears throat> no, with the heroic strike. So, but you fluffing your rolls does help. Yeah, because I I failed the courage test to charge. Um, yeah. That didn't do anything because it didn't. It just delayed the the the, the, the game a turn. And then you stood still because you couldn't charge me, yeah. uh, and I picked up or you picked up rocks. Yep, yeah. and you charged. I charged. I won the combat. Almost killed Frodo. Yeah. I rolled I had two double strikes. I scored two wounds on the on the re roll on the first mm -hmm. one. After that you had one wound left, no fate. Yep. And I rolled a one and three and a th three and a three, I think. Yeah, I to fail to kill Frodo. Um, and the next turn, you won the combat, stabbed Shilob in the belly. And she took two curse chests and the first one, one yeah. yeah, the first one uh, made her flee. So yeah, but I, I, I'm not sure why you wanted to charge both. Because my if you had charged Frodo alone, I wouldn't have been able to strike up, and you'd only have one dice against you, um, and then you could have killed him, and then you could have killed yeah Sam afterwards. It might be. Uh, I, I was I maybe I was stuck in my ways because when I first looked at my charge angle I couldn't move around Sam to charge. Oh you could. I I, def I looking at it after. Yeah. I definitely could, but I was like ne never mind I said it. Yeah. Um what I think you should have done was heroic defense. Yeah. With Frodo because then I would only have wounded Frodo on sixes, natural sixes. Then again. I won't. <laughs> yeah, you, you did. <laughs> no, uh, I think I was thinking strategy for people. Yeah, people what I also watching. should have done is probably spend a might to save one of those wounds mm. or save that wound, so I would have spent both my fates and um, and had, had two wounds, wounds left. I yeah, probably have been. But I mean, she, yeah, it's just really bad luck mm. uh, to not kill him. Yeah, I, I should have had, on average, I should have done, what is it, like, on average I should have done 
three wounds. Yeah. Well, I did two. So you failing that amount helped. Yeah. Um, but then again, I failed my courage test, and that's game. So a very small scenario um, only requires you to have a big, big table, really. And instead of using actual physical terrain pieces, you could just clip out pieces of, uh, of cardboard to make the impassable terrain features we used. Um, is Shield still available? I think the pack is still available uh, with with uh, Sam and uh, and Frodo in the spider web. Shame that model didn't happen. I painted that model for display purposes in the GW Oslo store 20 years ago. Uh, yeah. I also think I painted Shelob eight years ago yeah. when we started the campaign. So it's been a while. It's been a while. So next week. What's next week? Another uh, scenario. Another scenario. Uh, is it the Army of the Dead in Brandy? Number 334. Yeah. It is. And uh, that is a rating of Pelargi. Yeah. So what happens next week is that we'll have two scenarios. Um, they are usually not that close. They're usually played much more apart. But since we're lending a big giant Corsair army, um, we, uh, we, uh, we are playing them consecutively and, and place them as such in the campaign as well. So we'll have the first one where uh, where we have a ranger force um, and a uh, the the swordsman of of uh, it's first clansman of, of um, and yeah. then it's the, uh, then it's Eladan Elrehir and um, Halbarad, Argon, Gimli Lagos, and the army of the dead yes. fighting back. So uh, cool two scenarios to look out for. Until then, I've been Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wild. And this was episode number 333 of the Middle Earth Can Campaign. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. You see <coughs> the links in Sorry. the description below. It's a great way for you to support what we do here at Stero, and it means a lot to us. So thank you very, very much to all our past, present, and future patrons. And as always, support your hobby.